everyone. I'm back again. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Rosemary. I am a unique presenter and today I'm going to show you some stuff. thought I would work a little bit today with BB Flawless. I'm going to do palette number four, which is the Pretty Blues. And I'm going to use our new um, liquid lipstick in the color Superstitious which is a blue. So we're gonna go from do that and work from there. And um, again, my connection is saying it's weak, so I'm hoping that you guys can see it. So, really see it okay. I have to take my glasses off because I can't see. And my hair is a hot mess, so just ignore that. I decided to not work with the headband today because they just don't stay. So let's try this little doodad and get that to go. Okay, so I'm going to work with um, my concealer first and I am going to use Chiffon and Velour and this is the Liquid Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer. And I already primed my face because it's a crime not to prime. I'm gonna make sure I cover that. And I'll put a little bit there. And I'm not gonna put a whole lot today because I am gonna do the BB Flawless. I do mix my colors, so I am gonna use velour with it. Just a little bit. And kind of go from there. Like I said, I mix the colors. Um, and I like to use my bl um, blending bud to mix them so and I use it damp so so that is today's agenda I figured I would hop on and um, show you some stuff I have a lot to do today. How about you guys? I have to do, I'm doing my laundry. I'm doing actually my bedding because it was getting pretty rough. So I'm washing all of my blankets and my sheets and and you could see that I'm not, I didn't use a lot and you can add more if you want to, you know, use more. I just wanted to make sure that I get my where I wanted to get covered. And the lighting here kind of stinks, but you know, for for that, but I promise you that's not it doesn't it's not darker. It's just the way the shadow is showing. But it will all mix in. It's good to, to spread and pat along the way because it sets into your skin. And it takes the redness away and, you know, pretty good blemishes. You have to get a good color match and you'll be good to go. I don't think I have any. I don't have anything on my eyes yet. I want to um, add a little bit of primer to my eyes, which I'll do that now. And I use um, the Unique's eye primer. And I just kind of take a little bit and put it, you know, on my eyes, my lids. And I go around with it. And you don't want to rub it where you rub it off, you just want to rub it in, you know, gently and let it just sit a minute. So I'm going to do that. Also, along with the um, BB cream, I'm going to use the pressed powder. So I just want to get my color out so you can, so we can um, play here for colors on the eyes. So I'm also going to use Awestruck, which is a very pretty blue. 
So this is how we're going to start. I'm going to take palette four. That's palette four, and it has all these pretty blues, and it's got like um, almost like a silvery gray. And then we have a sparkly gold and some browns. And then this color here, Tender, is a very light, um, almost peachy. It's a good base color if you want to use a base color. So what I'm going to do today is grab my my crease brush, which is this, and I'm going to go with the color Cheerful. And I'm going to swirl it on there. And I always blow off the excess. And what I'm going to do is go into my crease with this color. And it's not a, um, see how that comes out? It's not like a bright, crazy kind of blue, but the awestruck kind of is. So that'll be, that's where I'm going to put on the bottom. I'm just playing today and we're going to see what we can come up with, with the blues. And you want to do it like in a windshield wiper motion, kind of like that. And if you want to darken it up, you can go ahead and do that by adding the color Triumph, which is like a dark navy blue. And what I would do is just dot a little bit because that one is very dark. So hopefully you can see this here. And it really is about the blending. So I'm kind of going like in a a V or a seven backwards, you know. And then um, you just want to blend it. Lots and lots of blending. So I'm going to do this side. And I go up higher because I have a hooded lid. So I want to make sure that you can see the color when my eyes are normal like this. Because I don't have the that big huge gap. I wish I did. It would make this a lot more fun, like to see the colors better. But we work with what we have, and we just kind of go from there. So, it kind of looks like a hot mess right now, huh? And it usually does. In the beginning when you're playing with colors because you got to find your knack and just get with what works okay so I'm gonna hold off on palette four now now I'm gonna go to my mineral uh, pigment powder in the color awestruck and let me see if I could pop this little plastic piece off because it's very pigmented, see? These colors are very pigmented in the pigment powder. They don't always, that, ooh, that plastic lid with the holes, I was trying to get that off, but I can't get that off right now. And I don't want to look ridiculous trying to use my teeth, so. And I don't have anything sharp around to kind of pop the top, I don't think, no. So this is how you do it, because it's a powder. So you just kind of put it into the lid and you get it in there good. And what I'm going to do is take my um, angle shadow sponge brush and I'm going to use this side and it is, it is damp 
and the because I, I just kind of tried to wipe it I'm um, wipe it to wash it a little bit and um, it's also good to have damp with the pigment because the color shows better and you can get it on there good so I'll start with patting it in a little bit and then I'll spread it now mind you I really didn't know if these colors were going to work or how it was going to look but why not play I've said it before and I'll continue to say it I'm not a professional I just play with what colors I like and what I think is going to work and and I just want to show you how good they are when you mix you know how they mix well and, and apply well so it's a very pretty color with the two different blues and that other blue you can't even tell it almost looks kind of like a gray and I'm sorry for the noise with the tapping I'm just trying to get it out because it comes out in such small increments that's why I was trying to get the lid off of it but that's not going to happen so but you do want to be careful when you do do that with the lid because it's very powdery and you're going to get fall, you know, fall out. So you want to be careful. That's why it's good too when you have the brush that's damp because it adheres better to the brush. If you leave it as a powder, it's just going to, you know, kind of fall. But you don't want the brush to be too um, saturated with water. You just want it damp. hard to see out of one eye especially when I don't have my contacts in and I don't have my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing here so I try to get as close as I can so you guys can see it and me so as you can see the colors they're buildable so if this isn't bright enough you add another layer okay so I'm gonna leave that a minute now I'm gonna go back again with my crease brush actually you know what I'm gonna use my my deluxe brush I'm gonna use this deluxe brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend everything a little bit and see how that goes so we can blend some of the the blues together and it may or may not work like I said they're very you know dark pigmented colors and it's makeup people if you don't like it take it off and start over so This is my fun day today of laundry and cleaning and I feel like I'm always cleaning because you know it's just how it is I think when you're home you work from home or are you're just home you know you're the only one who does it because everybody else you know is busy and you know when you live with men <laughs> you all know how that goes you have to constantly clean up after them So what you could do is you could leave it like this or you can um, like I would take a little bit of a dry towel or you know paper like tissue or something and just kind of not sure I like these two colors together but it's not horrible it's just um, you got one that's a little bit dark and one that's a little bit bright and to get them to blend 
you know, it's, it, you just have to work at it. And when you over blend, it's like, what happens is, um, you're just mixing the colors now together to get one big, you know, blob of a color. So I'm trying not to go into the, um, into the lid with the blending because that's my nice bright color that I want to leave. So, okay, I'm going to leave it like that for now. Then I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to try and use Tender, which is that really, really light color. And I'm going to um, use that for the top. And to blend. So it softens it a little bit. So let me just apply some here. Okay. See, that's not so bad now. And then we just blend it out. And if you need to add more color, <clears throat> of any color, whichever color you want, you just add more color. It's a blue kind of day, I guess, you know? So we're just playing. And again, nobody said that I was a professional, so... Just kind of go with what you can. So that's the blue colors that I'm going to use today. If you're into blue and you love blue, why not? So, okay, here's what I'm going to do because I'm kind of, I need to lighten up right around here for, for me. So I'm using Velour. And that's really, it's like a tiny little shriek, streak, you know, um, doesn't even use a lot of product. And I just wanted to do that because now I'm going to do the BB cream. And it happens, you know, you see something later on, like after certain things and you're like, okay, I got to fix that or I got to add this or, you know. And you totally can do that. Okay, so I always go back over it again. Let me do the BB cream and then we'll get on to um, finishing the eyes. So let's see what colors I have here. I have terracotta. I think I'm going to mix a little bit, okay, because the BB cream is in the color honey, which is not the darkest color, um, I don't think, maybe it is, I don't know, I have to look, using my liquid foundation brush, and literally like maybe two squirts, and because it's a little bit on the darker shade, I think I'm going to just add a drop of Velour to lighten it a bit, like this, and that's it. Then we're going to put it on. And BB cream is, um, it's very creamy, it dries to a powder, but it's moisturizing. So if you have oily skin, you just want to be careful on how much you use because it, it can be very moisturizing and I can hear my dog pacing he does this to me every time I'm up here and now the BB Flawless gives a light um, coverage
well, it could give a light coverage. I guess it just depends on what your um, color is. I'm going to have a mess to clean up down there, downstairs, when I'm done, because I can know he's a very demanding dog, and if I don't go now, he's going to be spiteful, or he can't hold it. But I don't have a choice. So, all right, I'm just putting my foundation away and my BB cream. So that's the coverage of the BB cream. And I used the um, liquid foundation brush with the well to put the cream in. You can you can use your fingers too, you know. And if you want, you can add more to it. And in the summertime, I used to mix um, the BB cream and the beachfront bronzer. It gave a nice uh, dewy glow. So now I'm going to take the color chiffon in the pressed powder, and I'm going to. Um, just go over it with some powder to set it and so that it doesn't leave too much moisture on my face. I'm like so nosy. I have a, my window right here and I'm like, I see trucks and I'm like, okay, what's going on? But it looks like the town is picking up the leaf bags. So when you rake the leaves and you put them in the, remember the pumpkin bags? That's, that's what they're doing. So, like I said, I'm just pushing some of this in because you want to press it into your skin because it's a pressed powder. And that's it for that. Then I'm going to go with my puff brush and I'm going to use a little bit of my bronzer to give it a little bit of a, a glow. And color. And this is just, this is my makeup for the day, you know. Everybody does things different. It's nothing, you know, um, special. I'm just going to use some blush in the color Seductive because it's what I grabbed. <laughs> and it's a pretty color. And it's a pressed blush, so you really don't need a lot. See how, how good that goes on? So like I said, you really don't need to put a lot. You're better off working small and then going. You ever notice the faces you make? It's funny. Okay. So that's it for there. Now, um, I'm going to do my, oh, my nose just started itching, sorry. I'm going to do my liner, and I'm going to use um, the color Triumphant, which is the dark blue. I'm using the liner shader brush, and I'm going in on the bottom here. Just remember, all of these are versatile. You can use them for many things. It doesn't just have to be eyeshadow. Because I wet the, the liner brush, I'm going to use this side. I just wanted to let this dry, and I'm going to just smudge it a little bit so that it doesn't look like a Sharpie. And that's it. And really you could do the top line if you want here. 
if you want a more um, defined line. And I, my line is not very thick because I don't want to cover that, that um, awestruck. And I go under just so I can get rid of the, the flesh of the, the eye. And that's it. That is the look for today. And you would add your, um, excuse me, you would add your mascara. You would add um, your eyebrows if you're going to do your eyebrows. Um, I think maybe just gel. Just comb my brows and put some gel um, to darken it just a little bit. Don't need a whole lot of um, pop with the with the dark colors. So this will give you a more natural look and it'll tame your eyebrow hair. So that's it for that. <clears throat> I'm undecided if I want to do my, maybe I'll just do my um, mascara real quick. Now, if you don't want to use the fibers one day, you don't want a crazy um, height and length and, you know, and all that, you can just use the gel. And that's it, real quick. See, that's without the without the fibers. You can do that, and that's it. Now, real quick, I'm going to show you the splash and superstitious to go with the blue. Um, they are by three. Get the lip exfoliator free. You have four days left. And I would love for you guys to pick out some colors and it um, doesn't have to be blue because blue is not for everybody. But we have plenty of beautiful colors to choose from. And they are long lasting. And I just like to wipe off my brush a little bit because I don't want to get it all over. You can line it. And it's the same with the, with anything. You always want to start small and then build um, because it, it can be messy. So if you're not used to it in the beginning, And it happens sometimes where you have to clean it up. Because again, I'm back to my crooked lips.
and it takes a little finagling, you know, to get it to go. I can't see. So I like to blot it. Just so you um, can get rid of the excess. Sometimes you actually have to wipe the brush off. You see what I just did? <laughs> it happens, people. <laughs> it just gets worse and worse. It's different, and blue is not for everybody. If you like the rock to rock the blue, you can go right ahead. It's a pretty dark color. A lot of young girls would probably like it better than, you know, us older ones. I like it, and I would wear it, so I am wearing it. So if you find any of these products that you like, you can go to the link in, in the description above. Um, you can go to uh, MagicalBeauties.com to purchase. Now would be the time to get the Splash Liquid Lipsticks because they are the by three. And then get the Lip Exfoliator um, for free. And I don't know where mine is because I just had it before. And I moved it, so you'll have to excuse me. That's not it. God only knows what I did with it. I'm so like, I feel like I'm unprepared and I didn't mean to be. So hang on one second. Let me just look. Because, you know, it's probably like right in front of my nose. So you buy the three splash, which is a savings because each of them are $27 each. So if you're buying three, it comes out less. And you get the lip exfoliator free. And it has sugar and shea butter. And it makes your lips feel amazing. So, four days left for this deal. And then you can only get them individually, separate. And they will not be the, the discounted price on the three. So, we have um, ten colors, I think, to choose from. And I have a bunch of different cool colors. and Because I went back for a second, kudos. So... Very pretty colors. Um, sensual, that's like one of my favorites. Stoic is another favorite. Um, spontaneous. Spellbound. All very pretty colors. So um, please, please, please go get it now while you can. Don't They make great gifts. Great gifts. You got young girls in your life. Awesome gifts. Um anything. If you have any questions, just contact me. I can help you choose, pick, order, anything you need. And I will be back again soon. So thanks for watching. Bye.